Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Jade Alberts from Calgary, Alberta. I'm a business strategist, influencer, and brand builder. My passion is helping small businesses grow and succeed. Sharing knowledge and stories is why I started the Telling It Like It Is Facebook Live show. It is live. If you have any questions, please put them out there. If you're watching this after the fact on another social media channel, put your questions out there and they will be answered. I am extremely excited about today's guest. Um, I have not had someone with the reach that she has. I've never uh, interviewed a social influ influencer. So Jade Vincent, thank you for joining me today. And how are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you doing? I, I am fantastic. And I guess you're living the social influencer life. I said you are, you said you're in Indiana right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shooting. Some, yeah, I saw you shooting some videos out there. So that's got to be pretty exciting traveling around meeting new people and shooting in different locations. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I know it's a, uh, it's a life everybody just would love to live just flying around <laughs> living the glory. Is putting out nice little. I always bring up is uh, how how I met my guests, and you and I connected um, uh, on LinkedIn, and then we met for coffee, and it just happened that you uh, you moved to Calgary a little while ago, and it was easy for us to to hook up, and and your mom and I met for and yourself met for coffee, so that was pretty neat. So how are you enjoying life in Calgary? I love Calgary. It's it's such an amazing place. Um, it's like. I'm so not used to like living in a city, so like um, moving from like the seaside to is like to Calgary. It was kind of nice because um, it's not like an in, like a crazy city, and it's not like a crazy huge city too. So like it was really nice for me to just like ease into it. So I'm loving Calgary. <laughs> well, that's good to hear, and it's funny to hear you categorize. Oh, we just moved to Calgary like it's a little town. For most of us, it's a really big city because we come from little rural communities, not from England, where it's massive. So. Oh, that's a funny description of Calgary. Yeah. I love that. Well, I'll give a brief introduction here, um, Jade, and then we'll get right into it. So you are a TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube star who's known for sharing a variety of videos, uh, dancing, singing to different popular songs, um, collaborating with other guests. Um, guests. Uh, you're, you have over a million followers on TikTok. Um, you go under Jade Cadence on Instagram. You're Jade Vincent X. You have uh, over 25,000 followers. YouTube, I believe, I, this might be wrong, but I think it was over 15,000 um, subscribers. Uh, you've helped art artists, music producers, and record labels grow in the music industry by creating fun, engaging videos. Obviously, your, your most popular one is TikTok, and I've seen you on there. Um, you know, Obviously, you're looking to turn this into a business, so that's kind of the 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 way we're going to have this discussion not so much about the product you, you will talk about it but i mean i really want to know that you know people talk about a social influencer and you know how do they do it whether they like it or not but why don't you share your story about how you um kind of fell into this career so um i had just moved from uh the uk to canada and uh, it was during the summertime, so I was alone. I had no way of really meeting friends because I wasn't in school or anything. So um, I was really bored. Um, I was surrounded by my family 24-7, which was driving me insane. So <laughs> I needed something to kind of, like, get me away from them. Um, just for, like, a little break. A break from my family would just is just what I needed because uh, I'm going a little bit insane. So... <laughs> My sister, she was obsessed with Musical.ly, and that's what TikTok was before. Yep. And um, she was like, listen, Jade, um, you're kind of going a little bit uh, insane, so you need to, like, just do something. Um, so we started making videos together on her account, so I was like, ooh, I want to download it too. So I downloaded it, uh, like, a week before um, Christmas, uh, and I was just watching videos until I, start I posted my first video around early February, um and I just danced on the app uh all I did was showed something that I was passionate about and um I started blowing up in March and that's when it all started it all began so I guess were you were you shocked were you surprised when that happened was it uh, I mean obviously it's very organic you get a lot of negative feedback of some people saying oh I'm buying 
I'm buying uh, my followers and things like that. But you were able to watch yourself grow. Did that shock you? It really did shock me because I, do I only downloaded the app to just kind of take a break from my family and just to like pass some time because I was bored. And now I have 1.2 million followers. So it was a huge shock. It was like an amazing accident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that, I mean, to be quite honest, an amazing accident is is a good way to describe it. And, and a lot of times that's how, you know, even I'm not saying this is a, isn't a regular business, but that's how a lot of businesses start. They have an idea, they float it out there and all of a sudden, oh, man, I've, I can make this become a reality. So I know you were obviously with TikTok, you've been growing and, and they flew you down there to um, to their offices to kind of become an influencer. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, sorry, you caught a little bit then. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I said you flew down to TikTok and and they were uh, talking to you about becoming one of the influencers on their platform. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about that? See, TikTok, um, I, I actually, they didn't fly me down. When I went to VidCon. Oh, uh, VidCon, we went sorry. TikTok, we went to the TikTok headquarters um, and TikTok's a really sly thing. Like they said that it wasn't the TikTok headquarters, but then we went onto like the website and I was like, look at our TikTok headquarters. And I was like, hmm. see, TikTok's a really hard thing, like a hard thing to get into. Mm -hmm. um, it's really hard to like, really like get in with them and to connect with them. Um, I have tried emailing them a few times, but um, they never really get back to you. It's really difficult, really, really difficult. <laughs> well, that's good that you're still able to make a connection with them at least. I know there's, yeah. there is a really a, a negative perception sometimes about social influencers. How have you, uh, how have you been able to overcome this? See, I, I usually ignore my uh, negative comments or anything that's negative that passes me, but most of the time I take that and I use it as motivation to like be better. Um, and see, I don't really, um, get offended that easily. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of just laugh it off. Mm -hmm. Like if I see something that's, uh, if I see a comment that's really negative, uh, I'll joke with them. I'll be like, yeah, I know I suck at this dance. Like I'm awful. Uh, because like, if people see that you don't care, they'll just be like, oh, well you, you can't get to us. So why bother? Like, um, because it's just negative negativity just doesn't phase me because i filled myself with so much like self-love and um because of all these supporters that are like behind my back they're always boosting me up i feel so good about myself to the point that those that negativity doesn't bother me anymore so i just use that like those negative comments as motivation to push myself to be better oh and i, I mean that's such a good such a good point i mean there's so much online bullying and so much negativity towards that i've watched i've watched a lot of your videos um, and I mean, even when you, when we had our coffee meeting here and you're such a positive person and all of your stuff is portraying and even the people you collaborate with are very, uh, very like-minded people like yourself. So I think that's a, a very positive thing. So, uh, you know, kudos to you on that. And, and it's, uh, that's a very valid point to kind of ignore the haters out there, so to say, I mean, they're always going to be there. They're probably, you, you know, just maybe, maybe they're jealous. I don't know what it is or, and who knows who they are, but I mean, that's a really good point to make that, uh, uh, that you made. So I know now you're really trying to, to, to turn this into a, a true business and you've been, you know, making calls and you've been calling some brands, calling other people, reaching out to some other people for help. You obviously have your family to reach on as well. Um, why don't you explain this process and how, you're really moving this forward to so you can make this uh, a lifestyle for yourself. See, um, I'm actually like looking at it like I'm the business. Like um, I'm like this thing that like like I'm like Nike or whatever. Um, like uh, I'll reach out to businesses and brands and I'll be like, listen, um, I'm a creator. I have a, a decent amount of followers. Um, I know my followers more than anybody. I know how to. Um, put content out there that they'll want to see yeah. and I know how to put your brand out there or your business out there in a way that they'll want to see it too um so that's how like I see it I've been reaching out kind of hoping um like I'm doing like baby steps to get to my goal which is Vans <laughs> Vans is where I want to be that's like my lifetime goal as soon as I've got that sponsorship with Vans I'm just like I'm like all right I'm, I'm setting my <laughs> this is the best thing ever <laughs> but uh, I'm taking those baby steps and working with other brands and businesses to try and like so I've like got this idea so that when I do get to Vans I'm like 
I know what you want. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm going to be I'm basically seeing myself as the businesses. I'm working on myself and helping others uh, grow as well, just to, so that everybody can be successful. No, and absolutely. And that's a very good point. I mean, a lot of people that uh, even have, I don't want to call them regular business, but the average business, they are the brand. They're the person that's out there that's doing all the work. They're doing the sales. They're seeing the clients. And even though there might be a different name on the uh, on the building outside or on their Facebook page, it's it's them. You know, you are your brand. You are you are the pe person that they're going to relate to that. And and as long as you're coming across in a very positive way, um, that is definitely something that will help you in in the long run. And I know when. You know, you had that, and you haven't mentioned it yet, but I want to bring it up because I want to just to show the power that you you do bring here. When you had that Chinook, uh, you said a little shout out to your fans to come and meet up at the Chinook Mall in Calgary. You thought there'd maybe three or four hundred showed up. Over twenty five hundred people showed up, and and I saw the videos from that and the passion that your these the, the, the people that were there and they were crying and hugging you. And I, I thought that was very, very powerful for, uh, for your brand. Can you expand on that a little bit, your experience there? See, it was, it was pretty insane. Cause I didn't think that my follower, like my follower count wasn't that big in Calgary. Um, so I, I just set up this little meet and greet cause I love, love, love meeting my supporters cause they have done so much for me. Yeah in so many ways I can't even explain. So just like doing a little meet and greet and giving them a hug and saying hi is the least I could do for them. So um, I started posting that I'm gonna be at Chinook Mall doing a little meet and greet. Um, and I, I really did not expect many people to come. I was like, I was like, my friends were like, oh, I wanna come see you. And I was like, it's gonna be embarrassing. Like, not many people are gonna come. Like, don't, don't bother me. <laughs> like. um, but I'm kind of glad they did come now because then in came like, over 2500 people and the amount I, I got so emotional like because I did not I just felt the most overpowering uh, overpowering amount of love and support and it was just so amazing um my supporters they were giving me gifts they were giving me fan art and it was just so amazing to meet each and every single one of them um and they was telling me how um I've like changed their lives and I've helped them and for me to hear that is just it's it's so crazy because um I used to watch uh, mm -hmm. other creators and they used to like I used to watch their videos just mm -hmm. if I was in a bad mood to laugh and for me to think that I'm that person for some kid out there it's just it just makes me makes me really happy uh, and you can see the passion on your face you're smiling you're talking about it uh, I mean actually I, I was watching that video when when you took when you shared it with me and I was like wow that is you know, that actually made my head turn a little bit because sometimes I'm a little bit down on on social influencers and and how it can be. But uh, you know, as I've been following you and and for anybody else that wants to follow her, uh, you can just go to the comment section and all her handles are in there on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, and TikTok. So I, it, it it is very positive. Now taking that and turning that into into having someone work with you to obviously grow their brand you talked about it you think you know how they should grow their brand or at least help them grow their their brand so why should they consider hiring you as an influencer um they should definitely consider um hiring me as an influencer because i am with the demographic that they want to reach out to um it's us kids i guess like my generation that uh, like businesses and brands want to be at um because we are the future um and we are always going to our parents like oh i want to buy this can i have this for my birthday can i have this for christmas like i really love this can you please buy this for me so the parents like the older generation they're where the money's at but it's their kids that you want to reach out to because they're going and taking their parents money uh, to go get these things and because I have such a huge following with uh, my demographic, like my uh, age group, um, that's why they want to reach out to me because I know how to get um, a point across. I know how to get the word out uh, because kids will listen to me because I know how to get it out there that they would want to listen um, because I, I do have a pretty big impact on uh, kids these days. Uh, influencers are where uh, businesses want to be at because people aren't looking at celebrities like the movie actors or like uh singers anymore because they don't see those as the real celebrities anymore they're seeing these influences as them because um 
that's where they're looking more like more to social media nobody really watches tv anymore so they're going to be watching tiktok like hours hours on end and seeing these influencers as the real celebrities that's why actual celebrities are coming onto tiktok now because nobody knows who they are anymore like, <laughs> um, it's true oh, no, no, it's- I- I, I agree. It, it, it's it's definitely there. There's some definitely some truth to that. There, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. And and ever since, I mean, musically was popular, but ever since TikTok purchased it, it, it has gone to uh, it has gone to the next level. That the, the app. I mean, I don't use it a whole lot. I know uh, you know our girls use it. And when I told them that I met you, they were like, "Oh my goodness, you met Jade Vincent? Like, are you serious? Like, are you? I, oh my goodness!" They were like, they couldn't believe it. Right? And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> so it was I'll have to be one day. I know, but that again, I and I agree with your analogy there, going to the power where people aren't, I mean, you know, watching a whole lot of TV. It's always YouTube, it's Netflix, or they're 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 using, you know, this is the power of 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 how we are how we're moving forward and even businesses setting up websites. I've changed entire my entire philosophy in the last seven or eight years working with clients to how it how it works on a phone and that's, and how it is. And people aren't spending time even on, even on websites on their laptop. So that, that whole d- demographic is changing. So that's a very valid point. Um, so I guess kind of moving forward, you know, I, you know, you're obviously I still, you're seeing putting out content. Uh, you've really stepped up and moved into LinkedIn. How has that uh, affected uh, some of your following? Um, with LinkedIn, uh, it's it really helped me like really helped me because um i'm also um i'm moving the direction that i want to move mm-hmm. um people is like my like people that see me on the for you page or whatever collaborating with other people they're seeing how uh, passionate i am about this um linkedin has done so so much for me like it's really helped me move in like the direction that i am i've always wanted to go right. um i've always wanted to do this like this is like I'm basically living my dream right now and I'm, I couldn't be more happy about it. Um, like I've always, always, always wanted to be an influencer, but to be an influencer with brands and stuff is just so much better. It's so much more fun and it's definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get, you're definitely from, from what I see on your LinkedIn, you, you're reaching, you're starting to reach those business people a heck of a lot more who will be the ones that will, you know, consider hiring you or be able to recommend you. And, and when you put a post out there, I was like, wow, man, that, and you just got like 190 likes on that post. And you look at the people that are in there. Um, it's obviously an entire different, entire different, a different demographic than, than the TikTok crowd. So that's uh, kudos to you on putting yourself out there on LinkedIn too. That, that that's impressive. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess now, uh, now you've talked it, you know, you've been doing this for, you know, about a year or so. You're obviously you're expanding, you're growing your network. You've had some really good success stories. So what, what, what's next for you? Now I'm just going to push myself as far as I can go. Um, I am going to basically, I just want to inspire people. Like um, I, I've mentioned Gary V's name like a hundred times, like, in my freaking life um i love gary v um and i want to be where he's at he is like one of my inspirations like he's so inspiring like he just he posts videos and he gets his point across in a way that um us kids we love it like we understand that like he's so smart like he drops the f-bombs he speaks his mind he just says it straight and he doesn't care if he hurts your feelings he says it how you need to hear it and that's where i want to be but like a little bit stuff that I don't really want to be that mean but um yeah I I want to be where he's at and I'm, I'm just really gonna push myself to inspire people uh to to really help people uh grow and be successful um because I just I love to give back I've had so much I've like received so much love and support that I now want to like take that energy and just throw it out to everybody else no that's great obviously Gary V is probably one of the well, in my, I, and I agree with you, one of the biggest influencers out there, especially, you know, he, he's over all, all platforms, right? He just doesn't focus on a few where, where it is. But I mean, he is one of the largest, uh, one of the largest marketers, influencers in the world. So that's a very good role model to, uh, to live up to. And, and uh, for as much as I, uh, you know, 
you know, you, you try, you, I mean, I watch some of his stuff, not all of it. I, you know, there's not enough time in the day for me to watch everybody, but yeah, he's definitely an inspiration. And a lot of people, uh, you see him get tagged a lot and, and he is, uh, he is great that, you know, he will be, uh, that's a good role model to live up to. Mm -hmm, definitely. So I do have uh, one more question and it's, I kind of ask everybody the, the same question and, and I know you're, you're, you're just in that really startup phase of, of, of growing it as a business, but, and, and, and sometimes I don't get a lot of people in that, that phase and they don't realize how hard it is to, to start up a new business. So if you had one piece of advice for a small business, a startup uh, entrepreneur, or someone even thinking about uh, doing what you're doing, maybe there's two answers to this question. What would it be? Um, well, I would tell them to just, download TikTok if they haven't already um it may feel like stupid being on the app at first because like all you see is kids but trust me it's going to get you like a long like a, a very far like a long way um if you can post content that is relatable and um it's like relatable to your brand and um kids like the anything like in life yeah that's going to get you so far. Um, kids love to see, like, relatable content because we're just like, oh, yeah, I do that. Like, this is what I do. I'm going to like that. Uh, I'm going to follow this person. So, yeah, definitely, like, download the app. Um, kind of, like, take a few days, see what's going on. Like, spend, like, maybe, like, 10, 15 minutes a day just going through the For You page, learning what people are doing. Follow the trends, you know, um, because if you can post content out there that, like, is to do with your business and brand and kind of like promote it in like a really organic way won't there's a brand and business there but not see that it's like a really cheesy commercial ad or like really like pushy like hey like this is my brand this is my business come come people are just, yeah. just kind of like mm. But if they see it in a really organic way, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, I'm drawn into this. I've I've seen this thing somewhere, like in this one video, like, uh, I need to get this. Like, if you like post a video, like say you're like selling a drink, put it in the background or something in all of your videos, people will like see that in the store, but like, oh, I've seen it on TikTok. Like, I want to buy that. I want to try it. Like, really smart way to like really push it out there in the most. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. I mean, the tagline mm -hmm. I use with a lot of my people and when I have, you know, my honest meetings or tell, you know, tell it like it is, it's, you know, be yourself, be authentic and be honest. And that's, yeah, exactly. you know, and as you said, even people that you work with and, and people that aren't, you know, comfortable in front of a camera, it's like, you know what, grab your phone, shoot a 10 minute video and, or, or a 30 second video, not 10 minute, 45 second video. And we will use that as content because again, you are your brand and you have to put yourself out there and people relate to that. And if you want to be an expert, if you want to be an influencer, if you want people to trust you and buy from you, they have to have that feeling that they know who you are. So that's a very good point. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Well, I really, you know, Jay, I really appreciate uh, you coming on today and, and, you know, sharing your story, telling your story. And, and I know I, I wish you all the best and I, I can't wait for our next coffee. And I hopefully maybe in a year we'll do a follow up and you'll be having this big story and you'll be, you'll be wearing your vans and there'll be vans all in the background and <laughs> you'll come over and say, Hey, Jay, I got a pair of vans for you. And I'd be like, yeah. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> We all are. So again, thank you so much for coming on, sharing your story, and uh, enjoy the rest of your time in Indiana. Oh, thank you so much for having me. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and we will see you next Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.